So a little bit about the mine and what to expect when you get here. My directions are gonna get you to that quarry down there. Um, I don't recommend coming up that side and fighting your way through the brush. I have a trail marked by orange ribbon that comes right up here. I have another video that shows you that trail if you look for it. That trail will come up here, come right up here, and you'll get to the pit. And I'll see if I can answer some of the more common questions here. So, open pit digging, hard rock, and I mean hard rock. This is the main host here. Call it what you want to call it, but it's a pain to work. It's vesicular, see? Yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about geology here. So you see, this rock has a lot of little bubbles in it. I have no idea what that little bluish gray mineral is, but it's something. So that those bubbles show that this extrusive igneous lava, which is most likely andesite or basalt, cooled rapidly and solidified those little gas bubbles in there. See, look at that. A lot of gas. So you don't want to work that hard rock. You want to work what's in between it. You see this kind of lighter material here? That's what you want to work. Now look at what we got going on here. We have the hard rock. We have the lighter fill material in between it. We have this layer here. What I suspect is uh, this was a lava flow that happened. This is ash that fell on top of it. And that's topsoil. And water came down through. And it goes in all the little cracks. Makes a bunch of clay. See, check this out. I have a muddy puddle here. There's a clear puddle there. There's water flowing in that one. It's actively seeping in and down. Now here's what it's going to look like when you actually get into the opal. See, there's that hard host material. Try to avoid it. Get it out in the big chunks. Just get that whole chunk out. And the opal's going to be in that lighter stuff. There's a bunch of common black right there. Looks like it's getting a little clarity to it there. Up here. This right here was actually a big void. A clay pocket. Full of clay. You just pull it out and bald and throw it against the wall and it sticks. So tools. Um, I use my power tools. But you're going to find there's a bunch of hand tools laying around. I always leave them right up here for people. Feel free to use what you want. Have some hammers and chisels and picks and brushes and hose. Ashtray. Buckets. Yeah, feel free to use them. Just please don't steal them. Put them back where you found them. Try not to leave stuff sitting around in the pit. Like if you could, you're going to come up here with a pack and everything. Try not to sit your pack somewhere in the pit. Sit it up here somewhere off to the side because more people might show up and then your stuff is suddenly in the way, you know. Oh, yeah. Remove all your tailings. See, I don't mind all this because I try to keep the floor level so I can run that wheelbarrow. 
But one thing that does bug me is this tailings pile needs to stay level. Picture it like a boat dock. You don't want to come along and drop your tailings right at the end of the dock. Throw them in the water. Move it out. I don't need a little berm at the end of my tailings pile. And word of advice, if you have that wheelbarrow loaded with three, 400 pounds of rock and you're pushing that thing over here and you try to stop at the end and all of a sudden that wheelbarrow doesn't want to stop, just, just let go. Don't try to save it. You ain't gonna. It's gonna pull you down. Trust me. It's not fun. <laughs> Safety first. As you can see, I got my caution tape and my cones that I just put up. I did that because this back pit is getting to be a high risk area. This is a no no. See that? You could be working down there. And that just falls right on your head. In fact, I just read an article in Arizona from Arizona. Miner working in a pit just like this. The ground was a little less stable. But it collapsed and took his life. So you got to be careful. I don't like these undercuts people are making. It forces me to come in and have to deal with them. Which means I can't spend my time looking for opal. Which is how I make a living. So if all my time is spent having to do maintenance to clean up after everybody else, I'm not going to be doing very well and it's not going to work out well for everybody. If we want to keep this thing going, we got to do our due diligence here. Pick up after ourselves, no trash, deal with your overhang, stay safe. If somebody gets hurt out here, that could be the end of all this. I'm trying my damnedest. So there you go. There's the gist. Bring plenty of water, sunscreen, maybe some bug spray. Uh, stay alert of the fire danger. All that common sense stuff that's not commonly known. Hmm. Yeah. See you out here. Everybody's welcome. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe down there somewhere.